Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Terrio and today I have a new video for you guys where I'm going to showcase three key concepts you must master in 2021 if you plan on running Facebook ads or if you're already currently running Facebook ads. This is going to be the single hand most important skill set to ever master when running paid advertising online. This has just for my clients has made my clients over $4 million in revenue cumulative total in the last 365 days. And it's something that is truly very important when running paid advertising. So before we get started, make sure you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, I post new videos every other day, similar to this video. Let's get started guys. So the three most important key concepts when running paid advertising, and these these three right here, it's something that um, it's e it's easy to miss, maybe misunderstand, but to easily like not identify them and not do them. So the three key concepts are one, grab attention. You know, this is uh, very important, especially like just how you got in this YouTube video right here at my thumbnail, my title, it grabs your attention. It pulled you into this video. And then, you know, I created desire by talking about how amazing these concepts are, how how well they helped me in my journey and stuff. And then lastly is a reason to take action now. So I don't really have a specific call to action with this video and stuff besides maybe if you're spending at least $1,000 a day in advertising and you know want me to help you scale your business for this particular video. So maybe this video is not the greatest example in terms of that right there. But if we look back at you know my Valentine's Day video where um, you know, I did a case study of how we did $800,000 in revenue. We had a reason to take action now in that particular ad because it was, hey, Valentine's Day is coming up. This is an amazing gift. This is going to help you out by, you know, it created a bunch of desire for this product of how amazing they're going to be by purchasing this product to their partner. And a reason to take action now is Valentine's Day is coming up. You have nothing else on your mind. Purchase this. So that's the three key concepts right there. And that's the three key concepts for any brand running paid advertising online. So again, grab attention, create desire, and a reason to take action now. So let's just dig into a few more examples and really kind of dig into these three concepts. Because to be honest, I know a lot of people, especially a lot of the accounts I audit on a day-to-day -day basis, they do not have these incorporated in it and the people that do have it the brands i do work with that already have a natural lack of this type of like marketing savvy psychology they do far better than brands that i'm working with that's just like here's my shirt grab it now why would i want to grab it now you know and why would i want the shirt i have no desire for that type of shirt anyway you know it, it, the ad was you know the creative wasn't even good didn't grab my attention at all so you know when you grab an attention this is done in a multitude of different ways so like google adwords it's the headline that's all about it right there for facebook ads it's the creative so having some really good creatives that pop out to you and grab your attention and pulls you in. So that's just why like, you know, some personal brands, they'll do like some really weird creatives. You know, I, I think Sam Ovens was like the first person I did it with when you started to go back and use some old like 1800s, you know, literature and stuff like that and tossing it in uh, just some really weird <laughs> things like that, that, that grab your attention and stuff. And it's also like some brands like uh, say Sour Strips they have some really, really poppy ads. You know, they, they have some really vibrant colors that 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 you know you scroll down your facebook and stuff and you see these blue and white blue and white black and white you know uh, pretty bland you see a few colors and stuff and you have a solid pink that's really popping out uh with a really clearly displayed you know product it really grabs people's attention you know it's when you go on tiktok and you have you know some of the tiktoks you see you know like the first few seconds really grab your attention they have a really catchy thumbnail uh click baited thumb thumbnail that grabs your attention so you want to grab people's attention with your ad you know so when you're creating your ad and stuff when you're creating your ad copy when you're creating your creative you need to really ask yourself does this grab my attention if i was scrolling through facebook and seeing a ton of different other stuff and i saw this ad would it grab my attention or would it simply just be like Eh, and keep scrolling because those type of ads that you're just like, ah, eh, okay, and keep scrolling. Those are the ones that are performing poorly. Whereas the ones that really grab your attention or really speak to the person or maybe just grab their attention in terms of like, you know, uh, Instagram ads, um, story ads, in particular, something that works extremely well for us is like a quick hand motion or some type of emotion that's like, that, that grabs people's attention, um, that kind of splits up and, uh, you know, that's called pattern interrupted. So if, if they keep going through creatives and stuff, our stories and stuff like that, the interruption of the pattern that they're used to seeing grabs their attention. Now they're into, they're invested into you. What do you do? So once you have someone's attention, do you just sit there? Oh, I just want, just want you to buy my great product. 
eh, you know, that doesn't really do anything. What you need to do is those people you're targeting, they have desires right now. So you're targeting, you know, people, uh, pregnant moms, for example. So you're targeting those type of people on Facebook. What desires do they have right now? How can you, you take, you got their attention now. How can you speak to those desires? Because that's what creating desire is. It's, it's almost ironical of how it's creating desire, but you're not really creating desire. You're taking your product and you have, they have all these desires right here. And you're basically pulling those desires and channeling them into your product. You're saying, hey, you have all these desires here. You know, this desire, this desire, this desire. We're going to channel them and how our product fills all those desires. So say, for example, um, you know, you have desire to uh, scale your Facebook ads. You have your desire to master Facebook ads. You have this desire to go ahead and, um, you know, you, you turn your unprofitable ads profitable. You have this desire to have a better account, ad account structure. You know, you clicking on this video, you have a desire desire to become a better Facebook advertiser. So that's why the way this title was, uh, was created and stuff, the way this introduction was created and stuff, I tied it in to, hey, you have these desires. Here's what I'm going to teach you. And here's why it's important to fill those desires. So if I just told you this video, hey, I'm going to show you guys three key concepts, grab attention, create desire, you know, so and so you might, okay, why is this important? Well, it just works good for ads. Cool. But if I specifically told you, you know, it helps you increase your performance with advertising, it helps you increase your ROAS, allows you for better scale scalability. It's done all of this for me. And you're trying to do that too. You have the desire to get there too. So you click on this video and me funneling in those desires and tying them into what I'm about to teach you is why you clicked on this video is why you're still invested at this point right now is why it works so well for advertising. So you grab their attention, you create desire, which really it's just funneling in their desires into your product by you know acknowledging the desires here's what i'm going to show you or here's my product and here's how my product's going to help you fulfill those desires and obviously making it make it all sense and stuff maybe adding some reviews and stuff that helps prove that not only will it help them but it has helped uh, helped other people do it as well so really just funneling in those those desires and then the last thing is a reason to take action now so this one you can kind of get away with i'm not gonna lie sometimes you can do really well grabbing attention you can do really well at you know just funneling in their desires and a product and the reason you're gonna take action now is because they want to fulfill those desires but you can improve the efficiency by it improve the efficiency of the reason to take action now by maybe a limited time sale maybe right now only you know you're watching this video and this video is only limited to the first hundred people so let's say if i wrote some ad copy for this video to funnel you into watching this video acknowledge your desires i grabbed your attention but i say hey this video is only going to be available for the first hundred people that watch it so you have a more reason to watch it now versus maybe a week later you're it's a little bit more urgency behind it and if you don't create urgency you're probably gonna get away with like a two extra turn on ad spend but when you add that urgency and that reason to take action now this is where you're gonna get that three to four extra turn on ad spend with facebook ads or any paid advertising median so again going back to our reason to take action now on our valentine's day campaign we ran that we did eight hundred and forty seven thousand dollars in sales within 21 days the action we had to take now was hey here's our product. Here's the desires you have. Here's how it's going to fulfill those. And you have to buy it now because it's the shipping cutoff is this date and Valentine's Day is coming up. They have a lot more urgency to purchase now, which allowed us to convert extremely well. Even at cold audiences, extremely well. It just, it performed really well due to that. So again, just closing it out, bringing it back to the top. You need to grab attention when paid advertising. You need to funnel those desires into your product. And then you need a reason to take action. Now focus on these three concepts review your campaigns, figure out how you can improve on these, because trust me, these are going to be the ones that's going to make you the most money. If you can master these now, obviously you need to, I'm going to assume right here, you have a great product. You have a great offer because those two are the top two. And then under these is how you really get those to scale. If you have a poor product and a poor offer, you can do these and you're really not going to see the results. So you need to make sure you have a great product and a great offer before you master these. So that's also one just kind of like little downside of this. But again, if you're seeing some results already, you shouldn't really have that issue. Just go ahead and revamp your campaigns, create some new creatives that really grab people's attention. Look at your competitors that are doing really well, see what kind of creatives they have and see how they're, you know, making the most of, of uh, grabbing attention. I do have a video on my channel somewhere about creatives and stuff. I review a whole bunch of creatives and really kind of go after the ones that grab my attention and stuff. So you're more than welcome to watch that video as well. So that way you can, uh, you know, kind of get an estimate of what it looks like. So if you're an e-com business owner spending at least $1,000 a day on paid advertising and looking to scale further, we've helped multiple businesses scale past $400,000 per month in revenue. And we would love to help hop on a call with you and show you the way 
to where you can go from here to here on that call, whether it's working with us or just taking a few key, you know, different things in your business, pulling a few key levers that get you there as well. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for new videos every other day, similar to this one. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's about that time, guys. Thank you so much for watching.